Let's consider the programming of chips with the use of programmer chip PROC 48. The universal programming can program microcontrollers, flash memory chips, EEPROM, EEPROM, NVRAM, and PLD. The number of program chips has no technical limits. The universal socket with the zero effort and with the opportunity to place chips with widths of case 300 and 600 mils. The connection of the computer via the USB 2 compatible port. It provides the programming of chips within the user's device in ICP regime. Very high speed of programming. The programming of 64 meg megabit NOR flash can take about 50 seconds. The possibility to work with several programmers under the control of one computer, the multi-programmer regime. The work under the control of Windows 98, Millennium, 2000, XP and Vista. Let's try to reprogram the microcontroller at mail 89C51, which is set up on the board used for the security signalization sensor inquiry. At the moment, we can perform the inquiry of only five sensors, as we see only five burning light diodes. We need to expand the functions and increase the number of inquired sensors up to eight pieces. For that, we try to reprogram the microcontroller 8089C51, which is applied now. We open the program, which was set up from the disk. Here we see the opportunity to choose between three regimes of operation, standard, multi-programmer and demo regime. We choose the standard regime to work with one programmer. The application has very user-friendly interface. The built-in system of help allows to make requests at any time and also to read the detailed description of chip proc programmer. Press and select device at the main tool panel will choose the chip with which we are going to work. We can first choose the type of program chip, memory, microcontroller, program logic, or we can choose all the types at once. Then we choose the manufacturer, in our case this is Atmel. And in the mask of search we choose the chip 89C51, in the case DEEP40. At the right below window we see the list of cases in which this chip is manufactured and the according adapters. Because we are going to use the chip in DEEP case, the adapter is not needed. Press the OK. In the info window for the chip, we see how to place the chip correctly or the corresponding adapter in the socket. Take the chip and place it into the microchip following the key as it is shown on the graphic picture of our application. After that, we release the handle on the panel fixing the chip. Then we check the record of info on the chip and for that we press the button. Do the check for clearance. The software says that the chip has already the record. Interrupt. After that, we'll fulfill do the delete function. The program has been deleted. To confirm this, let's repeat the check of for cleanliness. We can see that this time the software says us the chip is clean. Now we load the necessary file for record. For that, we click file open load. At this case, we are going to load the standard in the text hex format. With the use of servit button, we find the needed hex file, the sensor board. Press OK, loading. We see the loaded file in the buffer window, the standard 16-digit hex file. This file we record into the chip. For that, we choose the region, do programming. The record has been done. To check the rec records, let's perform the comparison. We choose region do comparison. According to the evidence of software, the record was done successfully without mistakes. After the programming, while checking, the, we see that the number of the inquired sensors has increased to eight pieces, and this fact is confirmed by the number of burning light diodes. So, using only the programming tools, we can expand the functions of our board without purchasing the new one.